and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken, and today we're continuing the Dark Event Massacre, saving your disaster campaign. And I'm thrilled, beyond thrilled, to do that uh, because it is an interesting yet uh, very, very difficult campaign. As you can see, we have 17 uh, Dark Events that are running, uh, hence the name. Secondly, before we jump right into the action, I want to clarify a couple of mistakes uh, that I have uh, um, uh, wrongfully said in the last episode. Number one, a few of uh, the dark events that I didn't know by name. Gone to ground uh, was uh, the permanent closing of our uh, hidden market, uh, which uh, in this case means we cannot gain any rewards for uh, for Intel. So the black market being uh, closed is a really big uh, thing. And then secondly, um, starting without concealment, you've seen that in the last uh, mission as well. Second uh, info, I've read through the A Better campaign, which changes quite a few small uh, details. And uh, some of them I simply was not aware of. Uh, for instance, all of uh, the heavy armor that we're wearing um, is now providing kind of an ablative uh, shield. That was the reason why you saw kind, uh, kind of the extra hit points on top. Uh, so lesson learned there. Secondly, some of the classes now seem to be allowed to uh, have a wider range of weapons. For instance, specialists can carry um, sniper rifles. I'm not going to do that uh, yet. I just want to stick with a normal uh, mm, abilities that, that we're having that's all fun and good uh, the uh, author of uh, the safe game can play uh, play with those uh, circumstances i just want to um, beat it on plain vanilla uh, thirdly um, i've uh, read up on the weapon fragments that we have seen uh, the last uh, time that are needed in order to upgrade apparently you're getting them from normal enemies so what we would need to do is we need to kill just a few um, enemies um, and there are light weapon fragments and heavy weapon fragments long story short we just gotta <clears throat> grind through a couple of uh, missions i won't be able to upgrade all of the weapons so my plan for now before we're jumping into uh, this uh, uh, mission is I'm potentially going to collect all of uh, the chosen uh, weapons which would be an assault rifle, a sniper and a sh uh, the shotgun that we already have and potentially upgrade the beam weapons or so the heavy weapons uh, first because there is no chosen equivalent that'll uh, give us kind of the core four with uh, weapons um, on top of it uh, potentially one um, a psi operative uh, who is fine with whatever weapon they are carrying and then a spark uh, which is also quite fine with the weapons that they are carrying so that will potentially be give and take uh, the uh, setup for the last mission and in order to get to that we now need to beat a lot of missions we have a really difficult uh, invasion of an alien facility ahead of us so stay tuned and let's get this going okay we got a Reaper this time, so that's going to be a lot of fun. Because the Reaper is not affected by the high alert. We got 12 enemies. And only two of our soldiers are concealed. Good enough for me. We're immediately starting to take a good look. Oh, look at that. Skirmisher enemies. And we got the nice high ground. So that should be good. Moving as ordered. Good. So we already know they are over there. Father really outdid himself, didn't he? Fantastic. Let's see. Can we grapple to here? No, we cannot. Okay, in terms of in terms of just moving into position over here would be fine, but I don't want to risk pulling uh, the other side of the map. So might as well take full cover. Ice pick is in cover himself, so there is nothing wrong with just going a little bit closer. Rest stays nicely behind. Got it 
And we're going for the good old Overwatch trap. Trip a mutant? That's not a problem. I go as ordered. Very nice. They are running into our Overwatch trap. Well, the one, the one constant is, even if I'm playing on a different save game, Overwatch is always stink. Uh, there, oh yeah, fantastic. <laughs> Perfect position for him uh, to stand. Okay, fair enough. The dark event, the dark event, uh, prevented. Uh, prevented him from being hit. Let's see. Lightning hands. Okay, well, didn't work out. 100% there. Okay, good. I don't think that we will need to use cooldowns. Not yet. The trooper starts to get shredded. That's fine. And we are looking at one shot. Well, that's even a kill. But luckily, Undying Fort uh, Fortitude uh, kicks in. And now the face off that I wanted to do. Well, so much for round number one. Good, we're moving all the way to here because that's a safe spot. It's very unlikely that we're going to be spotted out. Moving down here. Mirror. I like the high ground. But I don't like the cluster around the mech because uh, that spills disaster. We're instead going for full cover downstairs. Ice pick, it would be great if uh, we could get any closer. <clears throat> Likely not going to happen. So he's definitely not positioned very well. Too slow yet. Um, need a little bit more movement on him. Arashi, on the other hand, as a shotgun, does not suffer the as much of uh, the long range aim penalty. So you can use it even with. Um, with uh, long range. Oh, and by the way, I forgot another change. I should have uh, mentioned that. I was wondering the last time why exactly the uh, blue screen rounds wouldn't deal enough damage. And that apparently seems to be another change that they have done. A delicate place. Because blue screen rounds have been nerfed in a better campaign from five down to two points of extra damage against mechanical creatures. I can't say that I potentially disagree with the change because blue screen rounds have been just so unbelievably strong. The same end, I wouldn't have minded kind of an easy way to kill um, mechanical units. So yeah. Okay, so this guy is exposed. I think we're just going to take our chances here. That's one down. I'm 
same deal. 75%. Hmm. Can't really remove all of uh, the cover. Protocol just does not kill that mutant. Moving to designated position. Those chances are not good enough. We're just going to teamwork it. And that should be a kill. Nine to ten, two, four, two, four, six, seven. Uh, not hundred percent kill. I don't want to use sting yet. Instead, let's let's use dead eye. Okay. Well, so much for that idea. Sure still a 50-50. This time I think we're going to use Sting. Thank you. Remember, they are not victims. Good, there is no reason not to use overdrive. Because we can get it back. Fantastic. Let's reload. And we're back in shape. Very nice. So that's like what? 5 out of 12 gone. Moving up. Reloading. Ice pick. Nah, I don't need to reconceal. Not yet. We do have our Reaper. I go where I am needed. I loaded these cartridges myself. Affirmative. Covering knives. Understood. Moving out. A confident approach. I think we can go ahead with the uh, with our spark sniper. Kind of takes the high ground position here, and we're just going to wait a few rounds until overdrive is back. No reason not to. We're not on a timed mission, so we're looking at what like three more rounds. Okay. There's a potential that there will be kind of one pack of um, casually strolling alongside the ledge there. All right, I'll go. In which case they would go into our Overwatch trap. Alright, almost done. Good. We got our cooldowns back. I am trusting you. Let's take a good look. Nothing. Alright. Moving all the way up here so that we can open the door. What's over there? Equally. Charging in. Affirmative. So that very soon we're uh, we can right. get up there. And let's Don't move die. the sniper up as well. We can always grapple from here towards the upper ledge. 
So that's the point where typically the aliens are supposed to show up to catch us uh, with our pants down. They miss that chance. Nothing on high ground either. That's strange. I don't want to go too far. Not yet. My life is in your hands. Moving on target location. So all of this here should not trigger anything. As you wish. Surprise, more admin. As he just as he is uh, saying that, surprise, more admin. We need a way to deal with the big fat eyeball that is threatening to kill us. And I think up here should be in line of sight and in range. All right, again, I am surprised <clears throat> to see that these uh, things have not been detected with a Reaper. Good. So Gatekeeper 4 now is taken out. We most certainly want to use a Mimic Beacon here. Oh boy. So, what do we have available? We got a Mimic Beacon, we got a couple of shots. We are definitely in the open. We have one way of removing cover and we should use that. It's also shredding quite nicely. Fortunately, it doesn't hit the tower. If we, if we would hit it, the tower would immediately die, so That'll be a great option as well. It's tempted as I am to go for the... Uh, for the... Prime. I almost think that that would be a waste. We gotta kill the priests, the guardians. So. We have an aid protocol that does not end our turn. I think we're going to put that onto our sniper. I would want to keep them upstairs. Wait a second before we do that. How far can we throw the Mimic Beacon? This here is acceptable because... Yeah, okay. It's acceptable because everybody would see the Mimic Beacon. So 8 protocol it is. Keeping that Mimic Beacon nice and tidy. And we gotta deal with the Prime. This time there are no shots back, so there is an actual incentive to shred it now, as opposed to next turn. Let's do that. I might regret it, 
but it needs to be shredded elsewise we won't be able to get through it Okay, for once, no Undying Loyalty triggered. That's reassuring. Got some extra damage here. Um, 10 to 11, 5 to 8. I mean, one thing that we could do is move up, but that'll be plenty dangerous. 50-50. And a 50% crit chance. This here ignores armor. And we can continue to actually get it down. There's a 0% crit chance uh, though. However, there is a 100% chance to hit the prime. Let's go with it. I hate focusing on the Prime, but it is an incredibly strong enemy. And I really don't, don't want to deal with its gatekeeping. Now is the perfect time for a hair trigger, I was about to say that. Oh boy, very good. Let's see how we can salvage this whole thing. It still has two actions. Luckily we missed. If we would have hit, it would have gotten another action. Not critted. That's a start. And yeah, go for the Mimic Beacon, dude. Overwatch, okay, cool. Well, there had been worse turns in, in the history of XCOM. If we were to hit this guy, that's 7 to 9, and we're looking at what? 2, 4, 6, 8. Uh, that's not a 100% kill. It's not a 100% kill either. 2, 4, 6. That is a 100% kill. So. I think all things considered, might as well just. Comet Protocol it to death. Comet Protocol ignores the armor. You got nice little implacable here. Is it clear? And let's get the super heavy tower down. Deflection. Very nice. Time to move up. There we go. That's a tower down. And we're not going to make the same mistake again. Cryo priests. Let's see how elite you are now. No one will mourn them. Well, zombies. Okay, well, that's a good start. Sort of. Ah, the open 
spaces, the fresh air. Overwatch engaged. I will watch. Okay, not the cleanest battle to effectively pull those guys and then afterwards need to fight an uphill battle. But all things considered, that was a fun pack. There is still one more to go. And of course, it's Sector, uh, Sector Pot Prime. Which has brought its friends. Oh, cute. Okay, we got a bit of remote start uh, going for us. Starting with a shrapnel here. Just barely out of uh, reach. Uh, that's eight points of damage. And I think since we're not going to uh, since we're not going to want to get our uh, stealth removed, uh, that is the right pay for now. Moving in, I could have taken, I could have taken high ground, no, couldn't. Well, potentially here-ish. Still good enough. There is weak as ever. Okay, so we got Comet Protocol theoretically ready. would need to see the enemy for that though. Alright, Mirror is moving in. Can't really help anyone. Where's a good position for our sniper? This is one of those rounds where we will need to let them come to us and use a Mimic Beacon, eventually. can definitely mimic beacon if we needed to. Let's do this. Grappling hook is ready. So we could do that as well. Gotta be careful not to get too close. That's half cover, I don't like it. I think we're going to take that full cover here. Okay, we're going to do the little conceal trick to get out of that sticky situation. And Mimic Beacon it is. Let them move in. Do not shoot this guy. Why would you shoot him? That'll just give him annihilation protocol. Huh. Okay, well, at least the make beaten worked out well.
Okay, we got a Houston, we got a big massive sector port problem in here. And we got banish. However, question is, is Banish really going to kill it? Likely not. And after so many hits, mm, might be a problem. So, how are we going to deal with that? I mean, we could blade some YOLO uh, in there. And that would be a fun interaction to see both of them go to town with one another. Combat protocol definitely would uh, be a good option. Sectorport doesn't have the best aim. That's an advantage for us. So might as well go with a protocol. Okay. And combat protocol... Uh, it's a good starter, but it also bar uh, barricades us from using heal afterwards. I do not have another freeze. Grenade should have brought one. And we can't shut him down with hacking yet. So we're going to take some hits. This guy has just taken 10 points of damage. That's a good one. Annihilation protocol. sure why exactly you can uh, use start oh threat assessment uh, okay well that would be a start but i think banish is the right call now give me time to reload big fat reload and now it's time for banish let's see how far we can get it down One. We do, do have armor penetrating rounds, so it's true damage against him. Two. Three, four, five, and banish work like a charm. Good job. Well, that actually was quite good. Reloading into a nice little setup here. Comet presence for Duke. Continuing to spread this guy. There we go. And finally. Ice Pick should get the kill. There we go. That was the last of them. Oh, wow. Superior penetration scope, a civilian disguise, and an Alarium core. Well, that's not too bad. Okay, cool. Time to boogie out. Plant the C4. And get the hell out of here. Confirmed. X4 charges are armed. Move to the extraction point for immediate evac. Moving there. Will do. On the move. I'm on the move. Good. That was the end was uh, cleaner. I'm getting. I'm starting to get used to a better advent and the items. As always, if you're fighting against uh, sector port primes and kind of gatekeeper primes, those uh, enemies are designed in order to make your life miserable. There is, besides uh, frost, there is no really good counterplay. Um, 
Although both of them particularly could be, I suppose, also dealt with if you do have an EMP grenade. I should build one and bring them uh, with me. Just in case there is a stun chance and it deals quite a bit of damage. Other than that, well, it was an okay mission. And we're back. Let's take a look. Even got a promotion. Fantastic. Lightly wounded on Duke. Now well, we can live with that. I like steady hands a lot. Death from above would have been helpful in some of these situations. And that brings me to a, a very important aspect. Because where's the training center? Guerrilla Proving Ground Training Center. There we go. Let's just give it a go. So this here is our main kernel. I like restoration mate, but capacitate the discharge is really good. So is Haywire Protocol. So that one is great. Ooh, serial and kill zone. Hmm. Difficult. Well, you do have a winner at your hands. Uh, yeah, we definitely need Haywire Protocol uh, to deal with uh, sector pots and the like. Some extra points uh, left over. Soul Harvest, I would have potentially gotten that and Annihilate, but you were running out of uh, points and you instead took dead. I'm okay, I can respect that. Saturation Fire is good. I would not have taken Return Fire, I would rather potentially have taken Saturation Fire. It's really, it's really good. And your override is good as well. That isn't bad either if you use him as a tank. But yeah, generally correctly skilled. Suppression could be helpful with the primes. You would be, you actually would be surprised just how good uh, that can be. But we need more points for Salvo. Um, not taking this one here is a bit of a blunder. Marksman, Death from Above. I think we're, we have a winner here. I know that you wanted to go for Rapid Fire, but Marks from, um, but Death from Above gives you that bonus action, which you oftentimes desperately need. 22 points here. Run and Gun or Implaceable. Well, both of them are fantastic. I think since he had movement problems we're going to go with that do you have a high level uh, ranger you do not so i will use a few points <clears throat> in giving him a placeable specialist here oh, that must be haywire protocol and then threat assessment salvo is fantastic as well that's a good specialist and we got a grenadier here okay good well we upgraded a few Let's take a look on the globe. What we want to do next? We've just stopped the Avatar project for the next six weeks. Might as well build a radio relay, continue to farm Intel and get Africa back under our control. Well, continue training, of course. Domination, thank you. The Psy operatives are going to be fun once they are fully trained. I hope you're not feeling <laughs> Aliens are on high alert. Uh, yeah, okay, that is dark event number 18. We're reading you. It's just getting better and better. All right, let's get some more intel. For the West Asian corridor. <laughs> 18 dark events. Oh boy, well, that is hilarious. It's a great campaign. We had 
a soldier wounded and taken captive by the enemy during our by the way soldier capturing does not happen once uh, the uh, once the um, respective chosen are being killed so we've essentially traded the colonel uh, for a sergeant And there is a colonel, oh, there is another colonel who we can rescue right away. Okay, that is, that is good. Archon Sentinels, heavy, and we could get, we could get a colonel uh, back. I like it. Recruit Templar. More a chance of capture, I don't like that. Hmm. I think this grenadier here is going to be the one that's going to take the bullet. Negative trait removal is not going to happen. Instead, this guy is going to take the bullet for us. Reliable. I hope you are reliable, my friend, because you are the one that is going to get us a Templar. My followers will lead this action to victory. Very good. And before we move into that next mission, where is the new Colonel? Oh, okay, we did not get the Colonel. We just got a mission in order to get the Colonel. Well, won't make, uh, shouldn't make it too easy, right? Okay, that brings us to the end uh, of today's uh, uh, video. This campaign needs some quite significant saving. I, I would think we are uh, plenty busy for many more missions to come, but it is great fun to just jump headfirst into a disaster. And the campaign is delivering. I, I absolutely like it. See you in the next uh, mission. We're going to get our first kernel back and then eventually we're going to uh, get our templar back as well also soon there is a supply drop and i mean we're we're making steady progress thanks for watching guys if you enjoy the content feel free to leave a like and a comment down below that helps the channel and if you haven't subscribed now just uh, hit that nice little subscribe button and see you in the next episode bye bye